Hello and welcome everyone to this uh, training session in accounting periods. This is Kali Shaheen from NCS. We are a training center located here in Toronto, Canada, and we are specialized in Microsoft Dynamics Business Center training. And this is my contact information. If you have any questions or if you require any of the training courses, you can drop me an email or you can send me a message on LinkedIn. I'm available on LinkedIn as well. Okay, so today's subject is covered already in the Financial Essentials course, which one is one of the main courses that we teach here in our center. And we are going to talk today about uh, creating accounting period to answer Anna question from Toronto. She, she is uh, new to Microsoft Dynamics Business Central and she would like to know how we can create new accounting period in Business Central. So to create new accounting period in Business Central, you have to open first the accounting periods page. And it's very simple. You can either create the starting dates for the new accounting period manually using the new button here or you can create it uh, in more efficient way, I will call it, by clicking on create here from the accounting periods page. If you click on create here, I will show you this in the application as well, but just so that you know that if you click on create here, this will open a new physical year and it will be defined uh, its accounting period so you can start posting document to this period, new period that you created. So what happens when you create the year using this function here, create here from accounting periods, it will ask you here, and all that you need to do is to confirm. It will ask you, do you want the starting date to be this date, which will detect automatically the last starting date that you have in the system? And you need the number of periods to be 12. This will be the default values here. The, so the starting date, will come automatically, the number of periods will come automatically, and the period length will be one month. You can change it. If you are working for a company that the period length for it is not one month, it's one week, you can change it. You can put one W, or you can change the period length. And I will show you this in the application here. So this is my cloud solution for Microsoft Dynamics Business Center. So I will go to finance, of course, and you see here, this is the accounting periods. So, you know, if you want to check the last record on your accounting periods, all that you need to do is use the shortcut control end. It will take you to the last record here. And you see that the last accounting periods that is available is the 1st of December of 2022. And you see this is starting here, this flag, it will tell you when the new physical year starts. Okay, now to create, to create a new fiscal year in Microsoft Dynamics Business Center, Business Central, you just click on process and you click on create here. You see there are different functions available. You can close the fiscal year from here, you can uh, create the new year from here. I'll click on new year and it will detect automatically that the new year should start on December 1st, 2022 and the number of periods it will default it to 12 which most of the company will, will do like most of the companies they will consider that the new period will be 12 and 12 what? 12 months. This is the period length is 12 months. So all I need to do is click OK here. And you see the new accounting period is created here. So I did not have to go to new and create every period manually. I just use the process create here automatically. I hope that had and you can create always uh, for future physical year like it will not hurt if you create like another year for example fiscal year it will detect automatically that it will start on december 1st 2023 and the period uh, length will be one month and the period number of periods will be 12 
and I click OK, I created even more, more than what I'll be using for this coming year. Okay, I hope that helped and see you soon. Thank you very much. Hope that answered your question, Anna. Thank you. Bye.